Today we're going to talk about C sharp operators. Um, we learned a little bit more. I mean, we learned a little bit about operators um, when we first started programming, and I'll give you an example of what that is. If you look here, um, we use an assignment operator, the equal sign here, to assign the value that was input into the keyboard to the variable name. We also use a concatenation operator, the plus sign, um, that allowed us to print the string hello and the value of the variable name um, to the screen. So that's an example of um, operators, and so you are familiar with them. All right, so we'll continue talking about them. So operators allow processing of primitive data types and objects. They take as input one or more operands and return some value as a result. Okay. Um, examples of operators in C sharp are the addition sign, the uh, subtraction sign, the multiplication sign, and the division sign. Okay. Um, a little more definition here. Um, arithmetic operators, they perform the same way as they perform um, in regular math. Assignment operators allow assigning values to variables. Comparison operators allow comparison of two literal and or variables. Um, we have logical operators. Um, we have binary operators and type conversion. And we'll get more into those later on. Um, there are some additional arithmetic operators that we will talk about later on. We have the modulus, we have the increment operator, and we have the decrement operator. Okay. All right. An example of some operators in action here. We have 7 plus 9, which of course does what it does in regular math. The sum, it adds 7 plus 9, and, this, and we use the um, assignment operator here to assign the value of that or the sum of 7 plus 9 to the variable a and when we put it to the screen we get the number 16. Um, we use the assignment operator here to assign the string John to the variable first name and we do it here also using do assigning that to the variable last name String full name equals first name plus, that's the concatenation operator. We're adding a space here, and we have another concatenation operator here, last name. So we can assign these three elements here to the variable full name, and we, we write it to the screen, we get John space Doe. Okay, operator um, precedence in the C sharp. Um, there's a priority that operators have um, when we have parentheses that normally takes precedence over everything else. So anything inside the parentheses is done first. And here is a priority order of these variables there. Okay, I'm sorry, of the operators. Okay, so we're going to write a sample program that's going to uh, use some of what we just talked about. It's going to prompt the user to input a student's name, prompt um, the user to input student's grade, prompt the user to input three values for grades, and then calculate the average of those three grades and print that to the screen. And so we're going to do that here shortly. Okay, um, we have been working with this program here, um, which took the input um, uh, from the keyboard and printed it back to the screen. We used the assignment operator here, and we used the concatenation operator there. This time, we're going to go ahead and modify this so that we um, take the input of a student's name, grade, three grades, and calculates the value for that. So let's go ahead and modify this program. Okay, first of all, I need to add some more variables. I'm going to add a, um, a grade variable here. Okay, then I'm going to add three more grade variables, a grade one, grade 
2 and grade 3 because we need to take the value um, and the input of each three of those grades and divide that by three. Then I need to go ahead and add another variable here. I'm going to add average. Okay, average grade. Okay, so we have these variables here. Okay, and you know what? I need to change this to a double. Let me change that to a double because um, when we divide by 3, we may end up getting a number that's a decimal number. And so let me go ahead and do that. And if we don't do this, we can end up with an error. Okay, so I'm going to change this from hello, what is your name, to um, input student's first name. And put in this name. Okay. All right. And I'm going to change this one here. It's going to ask what grade is the student in. Okay, and I'm going to change this from age to grade, and let me go ahead and delete that. I'm not going to use it, and it's going to give me a warning sign. Okay, all right, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and prompt the user to input the grades. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it below here can speed up the process and I'm going to go ahead and type there what is grade 1 okay I'm going to copy that also and paste it but before I do that I I need to change this to grade 1 okay all right I'm going to go ahead and change this from grade 1 to grade 2. And I'm going to change this or add a 2 here. Okay. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and paste again and change this from grade 1 to grade 3. Add a 3 here. Okay. Now I want to make sure that I at my comments here um, I'm going to put get student name I'm going to put here get student students grade I'm going to fix that okay all right okay now down here I'm going to go ahead and calculate the average. I'm using the variable average grade. And remember, this is yellow because it hasn't been used yet. I'm about to use it here. I'm going to assign a value to it, so that will change um, shortly. I need to make sure I'm spelling everything correct. Average grade, average grade, lowercase a, uppercase g, okay, equals, I'm going to use an operator here. And put grade one plus grade two plus grade three, and I'm going to divide that by three since there were three grades. All right. Okay. So now, what this is doing, it's telling the compiler to go ahead and do all of the addition in the parentheses first remember we talked about the priority the precedence anything that's inside the uh, parentheses gets done before anything else so it will go ahead and add these up first then divide it by three and then it will assign that okay the assignment operator to the variable average grade 
okay and then now I want to go ahead and print that information to the screen hello and I'm going to take out the hello I'm going to go ahead and put student put a space there leave the concatenation there and then I have name so it's going to put the student name now right behind that I want to add grade I'm going to place a space there the string grade concatenation operator there the variable grade okay so when that executes it's going to print that to the screen now I want to go ahead and change this I want to go ahead and place the average grade okay average grade I have the concatenation sign there and I'm going to go ahead and you guessed it type in the variable average grade here that's used there okay remember spelling is correct I mean important here equals let's go leave it there okay and uh, when I execute this remove that okay I'm gonna go ahead and run the program okay students name Robert okay it's gonna ask me for the first grade or what grade is the student in I'm gonna place the type 11 there okay what is grade 1 I'm gonna place 70 what is grade 2 place 40 what is grade 390 okay and there it is student Robert grade 11 average grade is a 66 that's not very good is it that means I get an F okay but you get the point there um, we've used operators in our program um, so I need you to go ahead and make sure you send this to me um, make sure you put the appropriate date and your challenge today is in Schoology, you're going to go ahead and convert this program to asking for a basketball player's name, a basketball player's um, number, his score for five games, and you're going to display that to the screen. It's all there. If you have any questions, please go ahead and contact me. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I know you want to do some game programming, but we got to get through this part first before we actually start doing the game program because you need to understand uh, C-Sharp programming. Um, okay, have a good day. Bye.